Hey, what's up? What's going on, Pisces people? Welcome back to the channel. Please, you guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I know a few people told me they were unsubscribed for some odd reason, so make, your, make sure you are subscribed. And also turn on notifications because I will be live streaming very soon. I don't want y'all to miss out on it. I promise, I promise I'll actually go live very, very soon, all right? Also, if you're interested, please reach out to my sponsor, Keen. Head over to their platform. Check out one of their spiritual advisors if you're looking for any clarification on anything or to get a personal reading sift through and see who resonates with you okay um, the link will be below and you will get your first 10 minute reading for only a dollar and 99 cents and that's up to $99 in savings okay so let's get into this reading for Pisces watching my Pisces subscribers make sure all these cards are flipped the right way okay so I'm going to start off with the Pisces guidance card for the overall message for Pisces here. My Pisces subscriber. All right, you guys, I did create this Pisces guidance deck. So if you're interested, the link for purchase is below as well, okay? All right, let's see. A new journey. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. This is a fresh new start, Pisces. I feel like some of y'all been waiting a long time for this. A long time for a fresh new start, a new journey. You know, something that you can really see a future in, okay? For some of you guys, you've been dealing with so, so many things in the past that had no future, okay? It was just something that you were dealing with or someone you were dealing with for the here in the now, not for the future. So what's ahead of you is something that's going to last for a long time. All right. This gives me a lifelong journey. This isn't just a quick journey. This looks like an internal journey. Okay. So some of you guys could be entering, look, bottom of the deck is temperance here. Bottom of the tarot deck is temperance. So it's a lot of spiritual awakenings right now. You are being supported by spirit at this at this moment. Um, your life is being supported by spirit and it's requiring a lot of patience from you, Pisces. OK, it's going to take time and patience for things to turn out the way that you would like them to turn out. It doesn't mean it can't happen um, if it don't happen in your time. It just means you need to be more patient and really trust in the journey that you're being put on okay so there's something opening up here for pisces a fresh new start fresh new beginning let's see can we clarify what this is for pisces watching wow this card has popped out so many times in the past few readings so we got the two of wands here and we have the nine of wands okay so pisces you could be let me definitely shuffle this as well all right, so this new journey is definitely something you've been planning for yourself. You you actually saw this in your future for a while. All right, but with the Ace of Swords, you're finally getting the information or the communication that you need to solidify this new beginning. Okay, you got some sort of clarity here. It could be from a very upfront conversation you have with somebody, but you are receiving clarity and feedback and it's pushing you in the right direction here. All right. Ace of Swords is telling me that you guys will be starting something new. It's going to be a clean, fresh slate and it's going to be built off of truth and honesty. OK, there's something here that's very noble about what you're entering into. <laughs> As I say, noble, we got the justice card. OK, so Libra energy here. But this is something that's going to be divine and fair. We got the five of cups that came in my reverse. All right, so this is telling me, Pisces, that you're accepting some sort of ending or emotional loss or something that didn't pan out and you're walking bravely into a new beginning here and ready to have a fresh new slate and a, a, just a new start. You're putting past emotional burdens, putting them behind you. You don't really want to focus on them anymore. You want to focus on what's in front of you. All right, and we got the magician here. So you're definitely manifesting, willing things into existence. All right. If you can see it in your mind, you know it can happen for you. There's just no ifs, ands or buts. OK, so it's time for you to I don't want to say manipulate yourself, but it's time for you to tell yourself whatever you need to in order to trust in what's happening for you and trust in your powers and trust that you will get everything that you deserve. OK, 
justice being on the table says that there there's something that happened in the past and you were definitely treated unfairly okay this could have been about a legal situation it could have been about a divorce a separation um some sort of betrayal here okay but but you're quickly manifesting new beginnings because of the truth all right you are sticking to the truth here, um, the truth of your heart with the Ace of Swords here and what you really want with the magician. OK, so some of you guys in the past, you were accepting things you didn't really want. You just weren't willing to walk away from it, you know, because you didn't know if you could manifest something better. But now with this new journey here and how everything's becoming like more aligned for you, Pisces, and you're able to get over things emotionally now, I think. I think it's your time. I think spirit has said you've learned the lessons of the past and I don't see you repeating those lessons again. You know, this is why there's like a new journey for you. There's a fresh, new, clean slate here. There's justice for you. All right. And there's honesty and purity here. Okay. There's some, whatever you're doing or stepping into or about to do, it's, it's one of the wisest things you could possibly do for yourself. All right. It's, it's making you seem very logical and very smart here with the Ace of Swords. OK, and it's like you're finally just letting your emotions kind of take a back burner a little bit, Pisces, because I feel like in the past, this five of cups was definitely right side up and you were definitely mourning something, uh, crying over spilt milk, thinking about what didn't happen, why it didn't happen, why you didn't get what you wanted, why you feel like this, whatever. But I think you've reached a point now where you've kind of accepted that heartbreak and you've accepted what is and what isn't. And that is you're being rewarded for that, okay? For you putting in that hard work and accepting things that are very hard to accept, Pisces, you're gonna be rewarded for that, okay? Spirit is gonna give you some clarity about the direction you need to be going in. Okay, so let's get another one just to clarify what's going on. Wow, so we got the world and we got the Ten of Swords. Yes, this is definitely a new beginning. This is definitely an ending to something that was you know, troublesome to you. You felt like you've been dealing with a lot of betrayal here. And with the world card, it's like you're finally getting closure. You're finally getting an ending. You're finally getting a new start. Things are feeling complete. All right. So Pisces, some of you guys could be experiencing the life of your dreams coming up here. You know, something that really makes you feel complete and content and, you know, just feel like your life is purposeful. All right. The things you've been in in the past, Pisces, it's like you're learning to deal with those heartbreaks. You're learning to deal with those betrayals. You're learning to deal with those pains and you're transmuting that energy into something else, which is giving you a new start. All right. You're no longer just crying over spilt milk. You're not pity partying yourself to death. This is great. This is great because you're getting over what isn't anymore and you're just walking into a new beginning with the world here. All right. So no emotional baggage, no incomplete situations. Like even if there's a love situation that, you know, you, it kind of ended abruptly or something or ended on betrayal. I feel like you're getting the closure that you need from spirit or from God, you know, from the universe. You're getting that closure from yourself and your connection with divine. You don't really need that other person or clarity on that to get, to get that closure. OK, so you're letting, you know, you're letting Jesus take the will for some of y'all and it's really getting you into that next level with the world all right you're stepping up on some sort of universal platform a, a new level okay all right so i'm going to pull one more pisces guidance card you guys can get your deck below all right if you're interested let's see what the advice here is for my pisces watching what's the advice for my pisces watching okay Go with the flow. I love it. This is great advice, y'all. So go with the flow. This new journey is coming in regardless. It's time for you to have some fun. It's time for you to let your hair down. Just like go with the flow. Go with how you feel. You know what I'm saying? And just be carefree, Pisces, because I feel like in the past, there's just so many burdens. There was so much turbulence. There's so much up and down, so much negativity. Now it's time for things to be easy and just flow. Okay? So... Don't put too much pressure on yourself. This is your time to relax and just let things happen for you. All right. So Pisces, I truly hope these messages 
resonated with you. If they did, please leave me a wave emoji, okay? If this reading hits you, you know you're about to have a new journey, you know you need to go with the flow, hit me with the wave emoji, y'all, below in the comments. If you're looking for a personal reading, please reach out to my partner, Keen. The link is below where you can get your first 10-minute reading for only $1.99, all right? So until next time, y'all, bye.